Lake Waikamoana is one of New Zealand's natural gems. Geologists believe that the lake was formed about 2,200 years ago after a colossal landslide blocked the course of the Waikari Tahiki River and created the lake. The lake is nestled in Te Uruera National Park and is the ancestral and spiritual home of the Ngai Tuhoi people. Long before Europeans arrived, the Tuhoi people lived in harmony and isolation in the dense native forests of Te Uruera. Deer and pigs were later introduced into the park, and in 1896, brown and rainbow trout were liberated at Onipoto. The lake has attracted anglers, hunters, hikers, and lovers of the great outdoors over the years. We try to visit a few times during the year, but especially in February when the cicada are emerging and breeding. The cicada are a large insect that lives as a nymph underground for three to five years. Then when conditions are right, they emerge and climb into trees and vegetation. They then transform from nymph to winged adult, leaving behind empty brown husks on the trees. Then the bush comes alive with a noisy metallic click of cicadas.
Cicada are clumsy flyers and often crash land into the water with a splash. This is something that trout have been looking forward to. Cicada must seem like the equivalent of a steak pie to a trout, and I suspect that it's not just anglers that look forward to the cicada season. During the short cicada season, the choice of fly is fairly easy. There's two options, a cicada or a bigger cicada. The larger the splash, the better. Sometimes cruising brown trout can appear from nowhere and snatch the surface fly quickly. Brown trout tend to cruise the lake edge, investigating stream mouths and small backwaters. Some surface takes are done at a leisurely pace. Others are done at speed. I sometimes wonder what a trout sees from beneath the surface. <laughs> 